I don't know what the world is like wherever you are, but as far as I can see it, the world is awakening again after winter. It wasn't a long winter, at least not here in Norway. It's probably been the most mild winter that anyone here can remember. At least that's what my mother-in-law says. And it's not been the same everywhere. Record low temperatures in Russia for sure, but at least where I am, and maybe also where you are, the world is waking up again. The snow lies scant on the ground, hardly any to really pose a problem, and the ground underneath it that is now more or less entirely exposed again is green and, and verdant with that, with that light green. You know, the one that's, the one that, that holds a promise of the year to come. It's the very first signs of spring. In our garden, we have, we have some branches, some shoots on the bushes that have, uh, have buds. And that's the first time so early in the year that, that uh, my family knows. And so my parents-in-law have vases full of branches with buds on in the middle of February. Some people might be worried about, oh, the planet's burning and all of that, but really, I, I don't know about that. And it's not really a part of the world, a part of the world of thought, at least, that I really want to be bothering myself with. Um, I don't consume all that much, and I don't really care for catastrophizing and doomsday saying, I do enough catastrophizing in my own head, and that is plenty enough for me. But why am I making this video today? Well, I feel as though humans, or at least myself, we are we're so tied to the natural world, which of course is a stupid thing to say. Obviously we are. We're humans, we're animals. Of course we're tied to the natural world. For example, most women, their periods line up to start on the full moon. Now, think about that for a second and, and then tell me again if you don't think humans are inherently very in tune with nature, whether or not we are consciously aware of it. And so I look at this green moss on the ground and, and the dampness of early spring and and think of all of the berries that will soon be on all of these bushes and, and the flowers on the heather that will soon be here. Well, later in the year, of course. You see, I look out onto this, this green forest floor and, and, and feel it reflecting the same thing inside me. I feel it, it's urging me to, to go through the same process of reawakening because I don't know about you, but in the winter months, I get a bit low, I get a bit down. Um, seasonal affective disorder, they call it. And the acronym is SAD, which I can only hope is a purposeful joke by whoever coined that, uh, that particular diagnosis, because uh, that's just beautiful. So if any of you suffer with SAD as well, which is basically all of you that live in, um, you know, outside of the equator where People need to get more vitamin D than they can naturally get through being in the sun. Uh, so most of you, I'm sure, know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about seasonal depression. And I don't necessarily think it's all that bad. If it gets very severe, sure, you want to treat that. And you should probably be taking vitamin D anyway, because people in the modern day, we don't get outside enough even in summer. You know, it might well be sunny outside and you might well be able to get all of the vitamin D you need considering how high the sun is in the sky and how long it is in the sky, but you're stuck in your office all day long. So your skin's not getting any vitamin D anyway through that suit. You see what I mean? And so I don't really mind the seasonal depression that much. It's, I'm used to it. There's a sense of hibernation in winter. And I was hoping this year in Norway to get more of a chance to experience proper winter. Uh, and, and go out camping in the snow, but for several reasons that didn't happen this year, hopefully next year. Um, but here we are now, in the, in the current day, in the very earliest signs of spring, and I think it's time to start something new on this channel, and at least a new chapter in my life, where I'm going to start meditating. And I mean properly, I'm going to really, 
do it. This isn't a New Year's resolution, although it feels like one, considering the start of spring feels like the real start of the new year. And the problem with New Year's resolutions is they're commercialized in a sense, and uh, everyone just makes one and then drops it without much consideration. But this one, no, this one I think I'm gonna stick to. And I pledge on this channel that I'm going to, I'm going to make a real concerted effort to meditate. And I'm gonna share that journey with you. So the obvious question is why meditation and how? Uh, why, well, I've been thinking about health a lot, both mentally and physically. Um, this is my first proper time going out into the hills. I mean, I'm not very high up into the hills. Um, let me just, let's get a bit more shade on this frame because the sun is rather strong right now. Um, yeah, so it's my first time coming up into what passes for hills around here. Uh, it's only a 10 or 15 minute walk from my house, but I've uh, I hurt my ankle quite badly recently. So I, I've been thinking about health mentally and, and physically uh, in the realm of gaming, you know, Tips Out and other members of the community have, uh, have been talking about health problems associated with playing too many video games, or at least playing for too long, you know, too many hours at a time, um, and, and, and not taking care of themselves otherwise, you know, basically just playing games. Obviously that's not good for you. So I've been wondering, okay, how am I gonna, how am I gonna broach this subject of health? Because it's just so big and I'm so unqualified to talk about it. Um, but I think if I can at least talk about myself, maybe some of you can get something from it. So I thought, well, where's the easiest place to start? Um, currently, you know, ankle. I, I twisted it really badly whilst doing some route setting and climbing. And uh, nearly better now, thus, you know, being able to hike up here with camera gear and a tent. Uh, I'm not camping, by the way. I just thought I'd put it up for some fun uh, just to see if I could still remember how. And so yeah, I was, I was at home having to sit down all day, uh, rest my leg and foot, and I thought, well, the only thing I can really do in terms of health now is, is the mental side of things, because you, know, you don't need to lift weights in order to, to sharpen your brain, as it were. Uh, sorry if it's windy in the microphone, by the way. Um, it comes and goes at the moment. And, and so I thought, right, meditation, that's good. And I've known for a while about Sam Harris's Waking Up app. Uh, I'll probably talk about it more in depth in a future video, but go and download it now. Um, if I can get referral links, I'll do that in a further video, a follow-up video. Uh, but basically, Sam Harris is, if you don't know him, he's a neuroscientist and meditator and, and thinker and writer, and my hair is blowing everywhere, it's very annoying. And, and he's a great guy. Uh, so I've read some of his books and He's launched this app relatively recently that's guiding you through meditation. I'll leave an app to it and uh, a link to the app in the description. But it guides you through the process of learning how to meditate in his preferred style, which is basically mindfulness, um, which is a bit of a dirty word now. It's been used by far too many hippies and all of that, but mindfulness is a useful technique. And uh, I'm, I'm only on the second day, like the, the video you saw of me meditating just there. Uh, yeah, that's my second day into the course, so I'm by no means an expert. Uh, I'm thinking of this more as a way to share the experience uh, of learning this, or at least attempting to learn it with you guys. And, you know, I'm thinking maybe doing a, a video a week, uh, compiling the week's meditations and, and reflections upon that afterwards, uh, so you can maybe chart your own progress along with me. Um, that's just an idea I've, I've had. Hopefully you like it. If not, tough luck. Uh, unsubscribe because this is something I think is probably for the for the greater good, um, for both me and for maybe you guys as well. Normal content will be still on the channel, but um, I think going towards, like I said previously about you know being in the outdoors, bushcrafting, and all of that. I think mental health is actually it goes in tandem with it because without mental health. There is nothing else. You, you might be physically strong, but you're not as physically strong as you could be because, well, your motivations are gonna be all over the place. Your ability to go to the gym or wherever it is you train is gonna be hampered by the fact that you have less conscious control over your perspective, of, of your perception of the world. And these are all topics we can get into later, I suppose. But um, 
that's the how, this, the waking up app by Sam Harris. Uh, and, and the why is because I think it's the, the easiest and hardest in some ways, but the easiest first place to start when talking about living a healthier life. Um, I'm not giving up playing video games, by no means. I, I, I get great joy and, and pleasure and, and even, you know, fulfillment out of them. Uh, especially raiding with my guild. You know, they're, they're great guys and uh, a bit nervous for BWL this week, but hopefully it goes okay. I've certainly saved up enough uh, crowd pommelers for the feral DPS there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be quitting video games, but I'm thinking, okay, in tandem with, with playing these games, is it not is it not sensible to be looking into the physical and mental health aspects of life? I'm not too physically unfit, but I'm mentally destroyed. Like, my concentration is so bad. You can probably tell by listening to me talking to, to the camera right now that um, I lose my train of thought, my, my, my speech just goes off in all sorts of random directions. And I'm really trying to keep myself focused, but even despite that, I, I build tangents upon tangents. And then when I'm not on camera, I'm often listening to podcasts or, you know, even stories from 40k, um, that sort of thing. And there's, there's very rarely silence in my head, you know, I, I'm really lost in thought. Uh, and the, the worst part of that is it's often not even my own thoughts. Uh, you know, we enter into the conversation of, okay, what is the self, but let's put that in a box for another day. Uh, but even, you know, not even listening to my own internal monologue. I'm, I'm listening to other people filling my head because I'm listening to podcasts and all of that. And I think that's maybe a bit unhealthy, but that has to be balanced with the fact that I've learned so, you know, unspeakably much from, from online content that, you know, people in previous generations, they would never have had a chance to be exposed to as much information and knowledge as, um, as I have at, you know, nearly 25. I'm, I'm still pretty young and so I don't want to cast away the whole podcast thing and think, no, I must only have my own thoughts. I must never listen to anyone else's input because that's just throwing a baby out with the bathwater. That's um, removing your ability to even be exposed to ideas that can, you know, shape your life in a, in a better way. So my rambling should probably stop at this point, but um, new chapter, got this greenery all around. Uh, Allegedly, it's still winter, but it doesn't really feel like that. I've, I've put the down jacket back on, but uh, I'm pretty warm, actually. It feels almost like early summer, because uh, the sun's really shining pretty hard down on my face right now. But it, it'll soon be, it'll soon be sunset, maybe an hour or so, so I should head back. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think in the comments about, about the idea of taking up meditation, whether you want to join in with me. Um, join my Discord, it'd be great to maybe set a channel for there for, for talking about this kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing this journey with you guys. It's, it's a bit of a new thing for me. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go, but my experience is so far, I was gonna wait a bit before doing this video, but my experience is just in these first two days, they've been really, really profound in a way I wasn't expecting. There's, um, yeah, I think it's really gonna be good for me, for you, have more clarity, and, and the ability to stop and smell the roses in the most literal way. I, I love stopping and smelling roses if I see them on the street. And it, it's a very much a similar thing, just to, to block out the noise of this maelstrom of thought that, that we are slaves to in a way, and, and just appreciate what's around us. I'm very lucky, where I am right now is beautiful. It's a very easy place to meditate. I'm not in central London where there's people bustling about and it's all chaotic. But even if you are there, that might be all the more reason to come along with me in this journey. So goodbye, I will stop, I will end the video now. I already tried to do that and then I rambled again, but subscribe, like, all of that jazz, but uh, I'm more interested in hearing comments about what you guys think. So there's a couple of you I still need to reply to from my video by the lake, but that just means if I haven't replied that your comments made they were more intimidating, I had to think about it more. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. I've got a, I've got a Law Master's Guide on dead minds in the works. And uh, if any of you are patrons, I will be putting up a poll on what the next Scorecraft should be about. Uh, and if you're not a patron, maybe you want to be so you can uh, support the channel and vote in such polls. But uh, anyway, see you guys in the next video. And until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.